I'm still... Come on, Ganyu! We're almost there! You don't want to turn back now, do you? I suppose you have a point. It would be quite impolite of me to leave the two of you now. That's right! Where do you want to go first, then? I've spent too much time in the mountains. The first thing that comes to my mind is the sea. Let's go for a walk in the port. Happy to come with. The sound of the waves in this familiar port. The smell of the sea breeze makes me nostalgic. Ganyu, you didn't leave Liyue for that long. Why do you look so moved? Well, I used to be so busy. I haven't taken a stroll around here in a long time. Huh, that's true. Ganyu seem to be working all the time. Well, when I think about my time here, I've spent most of it behind a desk filing documents. It put me in a certain mood. Similar to the one I felt during my training in Juyun Karst, in fact. Why, isn't it... Little Miss Ganyu? <laughs> I wouldn't have thought I'd meet you here. You were always so terribly busy. Th this old man called her Little Miss Ganyu. Uh, please don't also start calling me that. <clears throat> Allow me to introduce Uncle Tian. He is... That's all right. Just tell them the truth. They have done so much for Leo, after all, and I am the one who has yet to introduce myself. Uncle Tian is a member of the Leo Chising, the Tianshu. What? This grandpa is a member of the Chising? The same rank as Ningguan? Hush now. I must ask for your discretion concerning my identity. Fishing in the port and strolling about are the greatest pleasures of my life. I have no wish to be followed around by those armed guards. In most people's eyes, I'm just a forgetful and wordy old man. <laughs> hmm. Uncle Tian is too modest. He's been around for a long time. There's no one who can replace a person of such noble character. <laughs> oh, little Miss Ganyu. Your kind words make me feel that my decades of hard work haven't been in vain. Uncle Tian, a person of your standing should really stop calling me little Miss Ganyu. Oh, my apologies. It's not intentional, just a childhood habit of mine. Thank you for looking after me when I first ascended to my position in the Chi Sing. Oh, so you've been friends for many decades now, huh? Oh, I was just fulfilling my duties as the Chi Sing secretary. It's nothing worthy of your gratitude. Talking about secretaries, oh, I don't know if I should bring it up. Uh, Ganyu, I believe you know my daughter, Huixin? She seems to be a bit... troubled recently. Yes, she works at Yuahai Pavilion and she's my junior. How can I help her? <laughs> I don't know myself, really. She's all grown up now and doesn't like to ask for my help. May I trouble you to meet her at Yuahai Pavilion? She just needs a bit of guidance. With pleasure. Solving the Chi Sing's problems has always been in my job description. She's back in character, just like that, huh? Let's move then to Yuhai Pavilion! Huh. 
tell me. Is gone, you. It's been too long. I don't know why, but seeing you brings me a sense of peace in these chaotic times. Indeed, it has been a while, Huixin. I'm flattered, but aren't you exaggerating a little? I heard that you've encountered some problems and came to see if I could be of some help. <sighs> My father asked you to come, didn't he? Abusing his status as a member of the Qi Sing to trouble you. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm always happy to help a junior colleague from Yuahai Pavilion. Ganyu's not only a competent secretary, but also a great mentor. So, what can you tell me about the problem? Ugh, where should I start? I discovered something strange while organizing tax records. There are obvious irregularities in the tax declarations of two stores, Second Life and Wanyo Boutique. However, whether I question the shopkeepers or check their accounts, I, I can't seem to make any progress with my investigation. Without any evidence, my hands are tied. I see. It's not uncommon for merchants to be blinded by greed. Well, is there any solution you can advise? Naturally. I've dealt with similar issues hundreds of times. Give me a moment to consider the best approach in this scenario. All right. Um, let's approach it this way, then. Your enemy knows you best. Huh? If I remember correctly, Second Life and Wanyo Boutique are old business rivals, competing for market share due to their similar wares. Hmm. In that case... In that case... Ah! I know what you mean, Ms. Ganyu. Ms. Ganyu plans to let them expose each other. Exactly. Let's start with Wanyo Boutique. The owner's name is... Bolai, isn't it? Uh, yes, you're right. Follow me, please. Should open a story. You can't beat the atmosphere here and leave it. Aha! We meet again, traveler. And you must be... from the Yuhai Pavilion? <laughs> I suppose you're about to place a big order. I'd be honored to offer you my wares. That won't be necessary, Mr. Bolai. Wanyo Boutique's credit is not sufficient to accept orders directly from Yuhai Pavilion. Should we need to place such an order, we would certainly go to Second Life instead. What? Second Life? Ugh, that rascal Dongsheng. He's stealing all of my customers. Well, Second Life's credit has always been excellent, and based on their tax records, their business is thriving. 
Ho <laughs> ho Hmm. Tax records? Huh. <laughs> Thriving? Huh. Is there anything you'd like to share with us, Mr. Bolai? Don't let that rascal fool you. I know his dirty tricks best. If you don't believe me, show me his tax records. I'm sure I'll find something fishy in there. You know Second Life's business so well? Of course! Ugh, their every transaction makes my blood boil. I'd rather lose money myself than see that rascal make some. Well then, please look over this tax record. We'll review Second Life's credit based on your observations. Oh, of course! I'll read very, very carefully. Line by line and word by word. Ah, here I found it! That exquisite wooden furniture set he bought from Fanmu Carpenters at the beginning of the year. Ugh, he even flaunted it in front of me. Look at the tax record. Not a word about that furniture. And he kept all the profit for himself. I see. He must have gotten rid of all the documents related to this transaction. No wonder there was no trace of it. Hmm, <laughs> I told you so. Just as I expected. Ugh, I can't wait to watch him squirm. But, Miss Ganyu, despite all this, can't he just flat out deny ever making this transaction? He might have destroyed all the evidence, but I believe the supplier, Fanmu Carpenters, might still have some proof of it. Aha, uh -huh, you're right. Master Lu from Fanmu Carpenters must still have the invoice. He wouldn't be swayed by the likes of Dongsheng. I hope so. Let's go to Fanmu Carpenters. It should be near Chingsa Village. Thank you for shining a light on this case, Mr. Balai. Oh, please, please, that's nothing. I just hope you won't be lenient with him once you find the evidence. That's the best way to show your gratitude. <sighs> I'm afraid I can't go to Chingsa Village. It's all right, Weixin. You can stay in Liyue Harbor and finish your work. Leave the rest to us. Ah, oh, that's so considerate of you. Still, I'm sorry to trouble you like that. Welcome, welcome. How can an old carpenter like me help you? <laughs> I'm usually happy to take new apprentices, but uh, I'm afraid I can't take too many at once. Uh, but I'm always around if you're keen for a chat. <laughs> Chingsa really is full of lonely old people. Hey, I heard that, flying one. Uh, Thymon, sorry. Master Lu, we've just come to see you and ask you some questions. <laughs> ah, don't worry, I know. You're from the Yuhai Pavilion, right? Why would the Chi Sing care about an old man like me? 
Well, whatever. You said that you want to ask me something. Ask away, then. <laughs> You're very direct, Master Liu. I will be plain. We're looking for proof that Dongsheng from Second Life has been evading taxation. Dongsheng bought some furniture from you at the beginning of the year. Do you still have the invoice or any other record of that transaction? Oh, it's about Second Life. It was a big order. Hmm. How could I forget? Sure enough, Mr. Balai was right. Could we perhaps borrow that invoice? We won't have any evidence to bring against Dongsheng otherwise. Well, of course you can. But I'm not so sprightly anymore. Uh, what's that supposed to mean? Uh, I only do my woodwork and display finished wares here at Fanmu Carpenters. As for old documents and such, I keep them all in a warehouse west of here. But some troublemakers have recently moved there, invading my warehouse. I tried to drive them away, but they just wouldn't leave. Since you need that invoice anyway, it may be best to get it from the warehouse yourself. And while you're at it, you can teach those louts a lesson. So that's what happened. I see. I'll leave you to it then. I need to get back to work. Take back the warehouse, find the invoice. Time for us to show our stuff in a fight. Wait, I think I saw one of those troublemakers. Ah, over there. Oh, Paimon season two. <gasps> It's one of the Fatui! They must be plotting something against Liyua Harbor. Maybe they're the scoundrels who invaded Master Lu's warehouse. Ever since Osail attacked the harbor, the Fatui's reputation in Liyua has reached rock bottom. We won't cause a serious diplomatic crisis by getting into some small scuffle with the Fatui within our borders. You need not worry. Besides, I can already feel their malicious intentions. Consider it my intuition as the secretary of the Chising. And what are we waiting for? Let's go teach him a lesson. 